I'm gonna buy one of those uh ring lights. I'm gonna I'm gonna order one. I thought you were gonna say a flashlight. I was like, whoa, buddy, wrong. Then they had that. Then they oh had that. <laughs> that nigga got a drawer full of them. I bet. I've had that for years. Have you ever used a flashlight before? Oh my no. god. No. <laughs> Unnecessary. No. Hey, now I know why the, girls you're the, have. You're the vibrators. fake heterosexual. You're the fake heterosexual on this show. <laughs> <laughs> why are you talking about Damien like that? <laughs> peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA podcast. We are back. CJ in the building. Jason in the building. Damien in the building. Sky in the building. The band is all here, and we are coming off the heels of UFC 290. In my opinion, best fight card of the year. Um. We just gonna go ahead and get into it because I know that when y'all seen them results, y'all thought about this pod and was like, "Oh, some of y'all got some get back for us." Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let Jay start because, <coughs> full disclosure, he called me like the day after the fight and didn't want to talk about certain things because pretty much he wants to let off. I I, I don't even know Uh-oh. what. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go ahead. What you got to say? Yeah, you. <clears throat> well. First and foremost, um, damn, got the Barry White. I just <laughs> just want to tell everyone it, it's very difficult. Um, it's very traumatic, very hard, very uh, arduous <sighs> to always be fucking right. Three for three, baby. I told you, run that shit. Three, four, three, three, four, three. Who's the champ? I'm the champ. Hold on. I do yeah. want to say I'm the champ. I went, I went back and I watched. I went back and I watched last week's pot because at the beginning when we f- did our first round of picks, you picked Robert, and it was only me and CJ that picked Drikas. And but, then at the very last, maybe like the last two minutes of the pod, you come back and you did say uh, Drikas at the end, and you did go for Pantoja at the end too. So lucky. It was a lucky, lucky. shot. It was a lucky, lucky. shot. <laughs> Lucky, we're not talking about Adesanya here. We're not talking about lucky shots. Stop playing. Wrote a tape of him just two weeks ago talking about no shot is lucky and me hitting him back with the Adesanya. Like, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Remember three, that. four, three. That's what I'm saying. Y'all want your picks? Y'all want to get that bread? Follow my picks. Uh-oh. But let's start here. Let's go ahead and rate the card uh, one through five. Five being oh. the best. Or 10, sure, 1 through 10. 10 being the best, 1 being trash. Well, I'll go ahead All and right. pop it off. Go ahead. Nine, 9.5 for me. Why? Why? Um, I would say because specifically the fifth round of Moreno and Pantoja. Because even that right there, rounds 1 through 4, I'm thinking this is fucking fight of the year. You know? And then that fifth round just kind of let they let a little bit air out of the balloon for me. Mm, okay, but the rest of the car fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say ten out of ten. Card of the <laughs> year damn. right here. Card of the year right here. I I had an amazing time. I was sitting on the couch. I wasn't there live like y'all. You know, that would have made it an 11 out of 10. You feel me? But I'm chilling on the yeah. couch, eating popcorn, drinking drinks, chilling. But I couldn't I couldn't peel my eyes off of this shit. It was absolutely fire. It was absolutely fire. From I watched all the way from the prelims. I didn't watch. I think I did watch the early prelims as well because I was, like, ready to, like, oh, shit, UFC's on mm-hmm. today. So, you know, I watched it from the very beginning, and psh, I couldn't turn away. All these fights were on fire. They set they set records on this card for the quickest amount of knockouts in a single card. That's crazy. Yeah. With the fastest <laughs> times. Yeah. Yep, that's crazy. Oh damn. And I feel bad for Mexico, but uh, they got they, they, they got they got they got one win. They got one win. Everybody gets lucky. <laughs> what about you, CJ? Uh, uh, the car was fire. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 2.7 at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I already know why. I already know why. <laughs> nah, but you know, I like w- I, right now I have MMA fatigue. Like I'm tired as fuck. We had a whole weekend, you know, 
We went to the fan expo. We went to the fight. I linked up with Sky. It was, it was a lot going on. The fights were fired from the top to the bottom, you know. But you know, it was a it was a sad day in this household. The fights were amazing, but you know, I put my emotion into this shit. I'm not just a motherfucker who picks fighters just to be right. Like I actually like these people, and I root for these people. And I was cheering. I was turned up in the crowds with the with the Mexican people. Um, it was an amazing car, man. I had to come back and watch it uh, today, or no, yesterday. We finished watching the car because you missed a lot um, being it's in the different. stands. Yeah. It's way different, you know. And I can't hear the commentary, so I like to hear what the fuck they bullshit they were saying. But all in all, it was an amazing event. The music was popping. Um, I had a great time, man. It was a great time. Hey, um, this is for Sky and CJ since y'all were there, and you know me and Damian riding that fucking couch. Um, <laughs> what was what percentage of the crowd were Viva Mexicano? 92. 92%. Wow. Yeah, you know, I mean, if we both say it so easily, yeah. Yeah, bro, I sat uh, next to Yair's family. Oh, man. And we was in the nosebleeds. Don't, not the nosebleeds, but we was we was up. We was up. We was up. Oh, yeah, I'm wow. going to say about 90, 90, 90 to 92% was about that. Flags everywhere. I had my Mexican jersey flying, so mm-hmm. and, it, was and sad, it was a sad and, day. And, and real <laughs> quick. Yeah, I never got to get my rating real quick. Uh, I, I I definitely give it like, yeah, I give it a nine point five. Like it it was just. I'm with you on that one too, Sky. Yeah, like I give it a nine point five. One because, um, Mexico, you know, getting hurt like that that really hurt. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a <laughs> nigga. <laughs> He gonna be gone. <laughs> but Mexico getting hurt like that. But once again, like one thing that I definitely want to point out to people: being and watching a fight live and watching it on TV oh, is my a God. completely different experience, right? Mm-hmm. So I understand why, like when um, what's his name, Sean O'Malley watched the fight and said that in arena he felt like a certain person won, and then when he went back and watched it on TV, he felt like another person won because, like, when you're there. Um, and we can just go ahead and get straight into the bullshit. When I'm the oh no 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 actually before we even get into the bullshit, if we look at the Yasmin Yagiri fight versus Denise Gomez, right? Fuck. Oh my Mexico God. was going crazy. This girl probably got the biggest pop. Like she got a big pop in San Diego. Uh, CJ and I was there live for that one too. But there in Vegas, it was insane. When she got knocked out, you could have heard silent. It was silent. It was you could have heard silent. <laughs> So, so uh, another really quick question to the people who were there: Who got the biggest pop of the night? Like, what m- 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 moment? Trump, really? Am Trump I- did. <laughs> the thing that's crazy though is like, you know, what I'm saying I'm down with the Bean Team. A lot of mo- them motherfuckers was cheering for him too. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, what the fuck is y'all? What y'all doing up there, bro? <laughs> no, I just said the Bean Team. I'm weak. That's man. Oh yeah, that's team. that's what me and uh, people in my live. You know, the Mexicans in my in my squad. We call them the Bean Team. So shout out to Martin. I see you, my boy. Uh, but yeah, Brandon's Brandon's when his walkout song came on, that shit was lit. Yeah, ears song came on, that shit was lit. Oh, what was the other Mexican dude who got beat by Tyra? He came out to Vicente Vicente Fernandez. Oh my God, we was up there singing that. That shit was lit as fuck. He lost the fight, but his walkout was man. That shit had us up there turned up. Robbie Lawler got a massive. Robbie his Lawler pop was, like was right- huge. It was probably right up under, um, <laughs> right up under Brandon, in my opinion. I mm-hmm. felt like it went Brandon, Robbie. Um, it was, and then Yair, but Yair didn't get as much because the arena was deflated. Ugh. We were deflated. We it, were, yeah, I, was, I can imagine. I think it might have been a little bit different because when I was by his family, they were singing the Chihuahua song, so they were all singing it around me to make mm. it. It seemed a little bit different but yeah we were deflated like a motherfucker up there and and trump got more pop than anybody he got he got he got i, I thought i was gonna hear some fuck donald trump fuck <laughs> donald. i know that wasn't gonna happen but yeah he got he got a lot of cheers a lot of hey, cheers. i gotta i gotta give it to that nigga though because he don't be afraid <laughs> to step out i really do though because he really don't be afraid to step out knowing as much hate that he has Nigga will still show up and turn up at events and stuff like it's nothing. You know what I mean? That's a president. That's Mr. President. 
<laughs> you know and he got I mean? them secret service boys with him. He got them snipers in the roof and shit. Yeah, exactly. He yeah, got the but, he got um, the Kobe Covington holding him down. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. I'll fight stop anybody. I'll fight, I'll, fight, I'll, fight, I'll fight anybody. Stop coming up. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> how you feeling? I got you, Mr. Massage? President. You need a massage, Mr. President? How are you feeling? <laughs> Oh, one thing about both that, you know, just, I'm sure everybody has seen, like, just the stats on this card. Like, there were only two fights that went to decision. Um, there were so Ooh. many first-round knockouts, first-round fit. I mean, just... <laughs> Shannon Ross, find a new sport, my guy. That's two <laughs> fights, two times you get knocked out in the first 20 seconds of the fight. You, it's time, Go back to the regional scene, my guy. The regionals. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Um, you know, shout out to uh Cameron Sayman. He didn't have any nut shots. <laughs> no that nut was the shots. First thing I was looking for. As soon as the fight started, um, I looked over at CJ and I was like, Hey, he better not hit nobody in the nuts this time. Like, because if he do, take a point off top. Take a point right off, off the rip, top. right off the rip. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was an amazing night of fights. Like, what do we actually want to dive into first? Because there's lots of storylines, lots of craziness that happened this weekend. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about Robbie Lawler, first of all. Yeah, let's talk respect, about Robbie. Respect. Because, bruh, that's how you leave the sport. I don't care if you was undefeated or not. When it's when it's your time to leave the sport, you are already announced it. People already know what to expect. This is your last fight. You going up a killer in Nico Price, and that's how you put him out, bro. The dirty boxing in the clinch slapped that nigga, bro. Oh my goodness, that wasn't a wow. That was a good performance. That was a that's what the fuck I want to see from Robbie Lawler when he's retiring, bro. Yo, shout out to Robbie Lawler. I can Facts. see why he got the love, bro, because he. No matter like how long he's been in the sport, bro, he's always gonna hold one of the craziest fights ever in the UFC ever. And this nigga is been in the game forever and still at the top of the fucking class. That's crazy. That's crazy. So shout out to Robbie Lawler, man. Like you get all my flowers, bro. Like you, you really. That wait, 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 wait. Man. You said he can take your flowers? Is that what I heard? Oh, all, the fuck? He gets all my flowers. No, plural, as in <laughs> roses, nigga. Chill. <laughs> How many hoes you got, nigga? Stop playing. Hey, Robbie Lawler, that nigga. That's all I'm trying to say. Big facts. Yeah, I don't know what was Nico Price's game plan. Like, you're not going to beat Robbie Lawler in a barroom style fight. Like, that's how you fight a, a, a motherfucker in the bar, bro. Just grabbing him by the back <laughs> of their neck and just, ha, ah, ah. ha. And I, I was texting Scott, and I was like, when. when Nico first went down. I was like, "Oh, he took a dive!" Like I literally thought on the on the cast that he just, go, "Oh, you know what? Yo, I'm gonna give it to this nigga. He's my idol." Yeah, that quick one. Yeah, and then I, you know, they showed the replay. I, no, 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 no. He went limp. <laughs> he, cr- he went. He crumbled limp. him. He crumbled him. Yeah. So shout out to hey. Robbie Lawler, and everyone knows the fight with him and Rory. But I'm gonna challenge you. MMA casuals to go watch him against Carlos Condit because that is just was gonna say as that. fucking good. It, actually, it might be better. He just doesn't have that same lo- Robbie m- m- missing half lip. his fucking lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are like those are on par with each other, to be honest. But that's that's just the the nigga and Robbie Lawler, bro. Like this nigga throws down. This man, this man being fights. You ain't seeing this nigga grapple. You not. You not. Yeah. Um, Shout out to 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 Ben. Uh, <laughs> over. Ben Still- I'm gonna say Ben Stiller. Ben, ben Stiller. Ben I was thinking Ben Over. Yeah. Oh. Nigga. <laughs> Whoa. Hey yo. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? He took him to pound town, man. Hey. Hey. Sound effects is crazy. It's highlight crazy. reel. Hey, highlight yeah, reel. Probably took him to pound town. <laughs> Pause. Hey, yo, yo. I, don't, I don't know what's going on on the pod, but we here for it. This is the type of energy we own. Listen, y'all, you, you we gotta have fun. You gotta have fun. We can't get on here. Well, if you look at the percentage and he did, no, fuck all that man, shit. fuck we them percents. <laughs> <laughs> we hey, failed math fuck. class because of that shit. Fuck that. Yes. We started watching fights, man. But I want to say, yo, shout out to Robbie. I'm glad he got it done quickly, fast. He didn't take a lot of damage. Got in, got out. Got his fucking. Did he get a bonus? No, nah, he didn't get a bonus, right? They should have. Um, Dana should have gave him a fucking retirement bonus. Yeah, under the table. 
I don't think he got one, but he deserves one. But that's the way you want to go out. Like Jace always says, you don't want to see your legends get beat the fuck up on their way out, man. He got Tony in, Ferguson. got out. Oh, shit. Shout Bobby, out to Bobby, Bobby Green. Green. I seen Bobby Green this weekend, too. <laughs> I didn't get to meet him, but he was up there looking like 50 cents. Yeah. Before or after? Uh, before. He looked like 03 50 cents. Oh, Yo, and shit. also, um, shout out to the UFC doing the tribute package at the end of the fight. Robbie mm-hmm. Lawler, trembling lip, crying. Like, we finally get to see some emotion out of him. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That that was amazing. Like, and in the Facts. building, like, in the building when that happened, I mean, people, you could feel it. Like, there was nothing but love in that building for him. Nico Price looked like somebody turned off the video game in the middle of it. Just, you. <laughs> Like that was just the Oh shit. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what happened, you know. Um it, it, it was such a vibe. Shout out to Robbie. I, I'm so happy to see him go out on top. I'm happy to see him go out with a knockout and to get the praise and love that he deserved. Um and mm-hmm. you know, I love it. M- motherfuckers need to start becoming more like, hey, this is my last fight, or just don't even tell us and let it be your last fight and go on about your business and stop trying to be like, oh, but maybe one more, maybe one more. No, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, no. don't do maybe no, the maybe one more is gonna fuck your life up. <laughs> don't do Fact. those maybe one more. Fact. Yeah. Just like it, we was talking about when it comes to like shaving or something. It's like, oh, you like, let me get that little spot. Now your oh, whole you're gonna shit fuck it all up. <laughs> you're gonna be crooked. It's gonna be turned. Yeah, you turn down. Just leave it alone. That that yeah. reminds me of the California kid. <laughs> Uh, Uriah, should, this nigga just has stayed away. <laughs> and, and and listen, for all you fucking MMA casual out there trying to get Robbie to have one more fight, fuck you guys. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Let <laughs> let him ride out on top. You know what I mean? Hell it's yeah. okay hey, to leave yo, with chill, the dub. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't leave better than that. You yeah, can't. you can't. You, you cannot. Can't leave. Yeah, you're right, you Danny. That's putting a stamp on the career. Peace out, man. Peace out. Peace in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All yeah. right. And then and then we roll into the main car. Your boy Bo Nickel. Your boy mm. Bo Nickel. I mean, was it a fight? No. Uh... No. Well, th- listen. The, the only thing I, I loved about that is that uh, Mister No Name from Nowhere, who's gone now. Um, He's not gone. He will be. No, um, he won't. We'll still still get the fight. <laughs> we'll see. Um, is the fact that he did stuff like here's the thing about Bo, right? Like, because I really don't care about this fight, it does nothing for me. It literally was just a larger event contender series fight, you know. Um, I, I need true, I need to see him fight someone who's going to stuff his takedown. And what is he going to do when that fucking happens? How is he, how is he going to react, you know, when that person stuffs that first two or three takedowns? You know what I mean? Like, and I know everyone is saying like, oh, you, you know, you want to slow, slow, slow play him. Like you can't slow play him because you're literally going to hurt people. You got to throw him in there with Brad Tavares next. You just have to hit him with the gatekeeper. Hit him with the gatekeeper. Then we know the type of man he is. I mean, he sniped this nigga though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, 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 is a, it is a no name. Like, I mean. I mean, he's a fighter. Like, like <laughs> we respect him because he's in the UFC fighting short notice, you know. But he didn't get wrestle fucked. He got he got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> so, <laughs> Damien, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. He sniped this nigga. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that that's how it happened. Facts. You know. So, but but you're right. I would like to see him fight someone with the name, someone with the number. You know, and we talk about this all the time, right? Where somebody, somebody's on this train, right? So it's like, Pause. throw them to the fucking sharks. Throw them to the yeah. fucking sharks right away. Like, throw them in the, to, the top 15, see if he can hang. Throw them in the top 10, you know? And I'm, I'm, what, I'm kind of against that. What about him versus I, Joe Pfeiffer? Uh, yeah, Joe Pfeiffer been wanting to fight him. Joe Pfeiffer wanted to fight him That would be because... a fire-ass fight. Yeah, uh, he want to fight him because Bo got all the hype coming off a of contender series, and Joe's like, hey, I'm the man. So he's always talking shit about Bo, so I would like to see that. Oh, um, he's on his Nate Diaz shit. I'm going to fight your ass. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So mm-hmm. Joe Pipe, like this this site right here is called RankingMMA.com. Check it out. It goes past the, the top 15. Now, of course, yeah. these aren't official, but it just makes it a lot easier for you to be able to see the whole scope of the division. So it goes like 56, right? 
Um, it's a lot of I, names you forget too when you yeah, see the yeah. list. You're like, oh, I forgot about that motherfucker. Yeah, this, <laughs> where this nigga been at? He has mm-hmm. a yeah. minute. Yeah. yeah, so there, there's plenty of people that like on this list are ahead of Bo that I would like to see him fight. Like, I, I would be fine if they put him up against. Uh, I would like to see him versus Kyle. Um, the, the, the Brazilian kid, he's on a winning streak oh, too. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 I like, yeah. 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 That would be he's fun good. because he got a fun little karate style. Like Connor, he comes out, he's coming to bang. Yeah. So we'll get to see. Um, but if we want to put him up against like somebody who wrestles, you, you could send him through Gerald Mirashart. I was right? going to say that GM three, let him beat him up. He's a vet. You, you could send him through there. Mirashart, you could yeah. send him through, um, who else is like a good like um even like right before him is what's his name where he's at he's from off of, um contender series as well and he's Andre Petrovsky I don't think oh Andre- yeah th- that'll be a tough fight for him too yeah Andre's on a on a winning streak he's coming off a tough like that's not too big of a name so we mm-hmm. get like a little bit more feel for like what he's into and if y'all really want to get crazy put him in there with Andre Muniz if y'all really want to get crazy now he just lost to Brendan Allen but he has mm-hmm. nasty submissions. And you don't want to really go to the ground with him. So that's where you get a chance to see if Bo's wrestling is good enough to uh, deal with jujitsu at the exact same time. I, I think that those are some good, you know, without so, giving them too much. So I like to see him against my shirt. So, so y'all think um, Brad Tavares is too much for him right now? No, I no, that's think a good name too. through Brad, <clears throat> unfortunately. Because Brad, really? like, like everyone fights Brad, you know, to try to, be, to, try to get to – you know, the top 15, you got to go through Brad. He is the mm-hmm. ultimate gatekeeper at 185. You know, Izzy went through him, Pereira, like everyone fights Brad. Yeah. Hmm. It just, he he needs to catch somebody who's going to give him some type of fight. He needs to go past <clears throat> a minute in a fight. You know, he needs to be tested a little bit. And I'm starting yeah. to like uh, Bo Nickelback a little bit. Shout out to Mo. That's her nickname, Bo Nickelback. But um, he just <laughs> needs to be tested a little bit, you know, that's yeah. it. He's good. Yeah. Even like, you know, Habib, people forget, you know, his early fight against Johnson, because Johnson had that nigga on stanky leg for a second. Until Johnson, he until he didn't. But right, that's what I want to see. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jalen Turner versus Hooker. Before we get into it, <laughs> Uh-oh. who did y'all oh, have shit. winning this fight? I had Jalen winning. Oh, my. All right. Let's talk about that high kick, though. <laughs> Because how does a somebody eat that shit and act like it didn't even phase him? That hey, it broke crazy. his fucking face. That one broke yes, my face. Like, literally. That's broke his over the could hear it. I broke Could you hear it live? Could you hear it live? Yes. Oh, you that yes. And I'm way up in the not way up, but I'm up there. We're like, God, he cracked this and he acted like it didn't even hit him. And he yeah. got hit I like mean, 30 seconds after that with another high kick. Yeah, and this was my problem. Was. This was my problem. I gave it to Jalen because all four minutes and 15 seconds of round yep. number two, not only did he hurt him twice and was jabbing his face off, he, he's winning yep. that round. Then with 45 seconds left, Dan Hooker, now go back and watch Dan's sequence. Dan hits him with, I think Dan hits him with the left, right? And then follows up with up. the right. And then he falls and then like they stumble and then he goes for the rear naked, and the time runs out. It wasn't like yep. he bah, 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 and it's, it wasn't as crazy as it yep. seemed. Now, I get yep. the image of him ending on his back. But in my, yep. in my opinion, does 45 seconds outweigh 4 minutes and 15 seconds where I hurt you, not just walked you around inside the mm-hmm. octagon. I hurt you, almost got you out of there, cut your whole yep. head up. Does that outweigh 45 seconds? I think what happens is, is like just as humans, we love an underdog story. We like the fact that Jay, that that Hooker was losing that first round, he was losing the second round, and that he came back. So it starts to shape your brain into being like, oh, man, I was screaming, Dan Hooker got that dog in him. I was screaming it too, but at the end of the day, I still think that Jalen Turner won that fight. I'm not yeah. mad at them giving it to Hooker, but I thought Jalen won. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I I I only watched the fight live, right? I didn't I didn't rewatch it or anything. So I and I wasn't mad at Dan Hooker winning. Uh, and I'll tell you why because <laughs> I think in the second round, if I'm remembering correctly, Jalen's body language was not the greatest. It was he was looking tired. He was stumbling. That was the around. third. Was that the third? Yeah, that was the third. 
Are you sure? I uh, that's the third. It. Yeah, that was the third. Okay, okay. I, Cause I could I could have swore like in the second round something major happened where I had Jalen winning and then the tides all of all of a sudden so, fucking switched to. J- I could I could give you the play by play. I literally watched that motherfucker today. Cause in there the crowd's going crazy because it seemed like they were going back and forth. And Sky was like, uh, Jalen won that. And I was just like, you know, I'm not too sure. We watching, you looking up, you looking down, whatever. I watched that shit today and I'm paying attention to the timestamps and I'm waiting for a closer time in the fight. I'm like, Jalen beat his ass for four minutes and 30 goddamn seconds. Exactly. Like, beat his ass. He was yes. jamming his face off. He got two nasty ass head kicks. He was comboing up and Hooker wasn't really doing too much until he hit him with a straight stumble Jalen a little bit. Jalen fires back. They go back and forth, and then that's where he gets the rear naked. And then me being in the um in the stands, I thought the rear naked was in there a little bit longer. It was not. Looking at the clock today, Five it was seconds. 10 seconds. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. To me, mm-hmm. going back watching it, it was two to one for Jalen for me. But yeah. it's not one of those, like, I'm not going to fight nobody else about it. It is like one of those it is what it is type of shits. But, bro, but I feel like that's it's all politics at, at this point in the sport, to be honest. It's it's like the judges are looking like, all right, what is – like they're looking off of body language. They're looking off of how is the round ending, I feel like. And yeah, it, yeah. it only be like that some of the times, though. Because some of the times, times somebody though, yeah. will, so, people will fucking end the round hella strong and then end up losing that round. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm. So exactly. I don't even know. I don't know Everything. what they be judging on. <laughs> We don't know what the fuck going on. What about you, Jace? Um, so I guess for me, you know, I thought to myself, like, when the fight was over, I'd have been 100% okay with the draw. Mm-hmm. But I would have been more upset if Jalen would have won. That's how I felt, too. Um, just because, you know, we talk on this pod about, like, damage a lot. You know, damage compared to control. And I know we're going to get into that a little bit later. You know, and Dan Hooker was damaged again. Like, again, your boy hit him with the fucking head kick hurt around the world. And he just, what? <laughs> That's damage, though. That's the, it, it, it broke his jaw. It cut his head open. We didn't know he, that until afterwards it broke yeah, his jaw. Supposed well, to you, you, can, you can see the damage during the fight. He was fucked yeah, up. You can see the nasty cuts up. on him. J- listen, he, 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 and also here's what I have to say. Right. Your boy Jalen Turner, and shout out to Uncle Chell because he always talks about this. A fighter's biggest fucking fear is not their opponent. You know, it's not how much money they're making, it's fucking exhaustion. Your boy Jalen Turner was just exhausted. He laid it down. He couldn't fucking breathe in there. And I was super disappointed in Jalen Turner on that aspect. In the third round, because he still won the first two, and at that, yeah, I was gonna watch that third round. I was round, gonna ask he was you, still uh, landing heavy shit in Go the ahead. first half of the round. Uh, Jace, who'd you have winning the first round? So, for, so for me, it was Jalen clear first. It what was about Hooker, the Hooker clear third. Wow. Oh, third. Clear third. Okay. Clear third. And for me, and that's why I said like I would gravitate toward a draw, you know, because the second round was round. for me was a coin flip. Like it really was a coin flip for me. Uh no hate to mm-hmm. anyone else. You know, like we obviously argue passionately about decisions, and I know we're going to here in a couple of fights. Um I just gave it to Hooker. Can I ask you a quick, quick, quick question? Yeah. So would you in that second round, would you rather have been Dan Hooker or Jalen Turner getting beat up for four minutes and 30 seconds or get slightly beat up for 30 seconds and a 10 second RNC? I am going. I would have rather been Dan Hooker that round. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck because no. we're talking about the 10 second. But we're talking about the 10 second RNC. That nigga was going to be out of there. Let's be honest. Gonna, gonna should have, would have. It's not, be. though. Facts. All right. You can't, you but, can't, facts. All right. facts. You can't count to, anything to that's going to have to happen after I'm the round. To, I'm trying to look at it as like Charles Oliveira almost lost the, the title. Charles Oliveira was too. Israel Adesanya almost beat Alex Pereira in the first round. Yeah. He almost but knocked him out. But that is a stamp, though. Happen. That's the thing, though, is it's a stamp that, that people remember. This nigga's eyes was looking like they was finna pop out his damn head. This nigga was, it was out of there. And the time so went. And so Damien. Damien. And then, so and Damien. It was on the chin. Hold on, hold on. We all talking. 
Damien, yeah. so in that second round, you would rather have been Dan Hooker than to be Jalen Turner in that second round? And I, I, I implore you to please go watch that shit again. <laughs> And watch the watch time, watch, watch the time stamps, because you're gonna be have <laughs> you have something in your head where you think it's a little bit longer. I like I said, I was watching today. I'm no, like, felt, dude is beating felt, his ass for like thirty seconds, four minutes and thirty seconds, and watching it in the stadium. I'm like, damn, Dan Hooker's kind of beating them up a little bit longer when it was not that long, bro. It feels that way, but it wasn't. It wasn't that pause, long. pause. pause. <laughs> the fuck, hey, put that on the rear. Wasn't feeling that way. Longer than what it was. Wait a goddamn moment. But you got to think about it in the same aspect that the judges are in that same type of situation that you're in. They're watching it live. They don't get to rewatch it. They don't get to run it back. Facts. Live, I still. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Hey. Me? Damien, that's a beautiful fucking point. It is easy to go back and armchair quarterback than watching it live. And and it's hard not to. I mean, I've been to a handful of fights not to get influenced by fans just pending. Again, yeah. I, I think we yeah, all yeah, yeah. can agree, and correct me if I'm wrong, it was a very good close fight. Mm-hmm. No, you know, I don't feel like no one feels like it was robbery. You know what I mean? Like other times we've talked in the pod, like what the fuck just happened here? You know what I mean? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Here's what I, here's what I do want to say. Damien and Jace, you have just made the argument for why Josh Emmett beat Calvin Cater. Thank you. Exactly what I kept telling y'all. The last minute and a half of every single round that he won. You have to judge the whole round. Because he took off at the last minute of the half. So y'all can go back and watch that fight if you care to, and you'll see exactly what I'm saying. So for all y'all that scored that for Hooker, go ahead and give, go ahead and send your apology letters to Josh Emmett. For Stop being I like Josh Emmett, so I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love I really a good honesty. Like <laughs> Hooker won that fight. Hooker deservedly won that fight. But let's keep it pushing. Uh, speaking of being biased, uh, <laughs> Robert Whitaker versus Drinkus Dupussy was in the building. If y'all remember what I said last week, every dog has its days. I told you I smelt the upset. I did not want it to happen. But at okay, the nope. same time, I did want it to happen. Because me, yep. I want easy to fight Drinkus. I, I thought Robert was going to win, but I just knew that I just felt like drink. I felt the upset and it happened. Okay. Before we dive in here, I got a quick question for y'all. I'm pissed off. What? Do you- <laughs> 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 it what is what it is, we- my brother. Do you know now that when we recall it, do we recall the fight more or Izzy in the ring more. Izzy, we get Izzy, to the yeah. Izzy point. We get to Izzy. <laughs> we are gonna get there. Okay. Let's talk about the fight. Robert comes out. He's looking like Robert. He's looking good. The last, I want to say, maybe a minute twenty. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The last minute, because man, mind y'all, I don't watch these fights a couple of times already. The last minute twenty, Drake is. They get the cake down. He starts grounding, <laughs> pounding, hitting him. And your boy CJ sent me a test. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> it, because I don't know if you felt weird watching that shit, Scott. Because I was like, this shit feels bizarre right now. It feels like I'm in a different dimension and shit. Because I'm like, this shit feel weird as fuck. Because Drinkus is, they were going back and forth, back and forth. And then he like slammed this motherfucker. Yeah. And this starts wailing on him. I'm like, this is bizarro land that we in right now. Rob is looking crazy. Yeah, second uh, round comes around. Robert comes out looking like Robert. Hits him twice with his patented one-two high yep. kick, one-two high mm-hmm. kick. I'm like, oh, Robert's in his bag. Robert's in his bag. Next thing you know, Drink is nasty jab, sits him down. Sit him down. It's over. It's over. I'm pissed. Can we talk about Izzy now? <laughs> Wait, no. Let's no, hold on, no, no, no. Let's, let, like... <laughs> Damien, I want to say, I want to say, shout out to to all the MMA MMA mathematicians, scientists, and all this shit that tells people all the time that people have no chance. Like Sky said, every nasty ass, stinky ass dog has their day. And to, on Saturday it was Drikus's day, man. It was. Robert it was had his a bad day. Night. 
Because in the first round, he was yeah. coming out looking looking great, looking like Robert. You know, like Sky said, landing his patent and shit. Even though it was getting blocked, them shits hurt. I don't care what you say, bro. You catch a shin to the, to the fucking forearm. Look how skinny your forearm is, bro. That shit fucking hurts. I don't care what anybody says. People, like, the coaches will tell you to kick that arm over and over and over. Over and over. It'll, get, it, it, it'll get to the point where you don't even want to block it no more. You'd rather take the head kick because your fucking arm screaming. Uh, right? Shout out to Kevin Holland. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, that shit, that shit really hurt me, man. Fuck. And so, <laughs> so, in this upcoming fight, I got nigga Izzy. <laughs> over, over, over two, over two nostril duplicities, right? I got nigga Izzy this, over this two nigga is. <laughs> I hope Izzy just slow. I, I honestly don't want him to knock him out in the first round. I wanted to, I wanted to go. I wanted to be a fucking massacre. Hey, you know what I told? Like, you know what I told Danny earlier? I said, I want it to be, I don't want it to be no first, second. I want it to be like fifth round, Kamaro versus uh, old boy style, except instead of versus Kobe Covington. Remember when he was like, I'm going to get you out of here with, with four and a half minutes left, and that's exactly what he did. But really what I want to happen is just one nasty shot that leaves his face shattered like Sage Northcutt. I ain't lying to mm. you. I want his shit shattered like Sage Northcutt. But go ahead. I wanted I wanted to go all the way to the fifth round. I want Izzy to beat the fuck out of his body. Just beat him up to where in the fourth, fifth, in the third round, this nigga is exhausted. And, bi- and Izzy just playing with him now. Jab into his face. Jab, jab, jab. Kick to the body. Jab, jab, jab to where this nigga don't even want He In his head, in the fight, he's thinking, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I, why am I fighting right now? Because people be having them thoughts. When you in deep waters, and I want him to have them thoughts talking about he the real African. Bro, get your ass up out of here. Nigga. Did you say, uh, <laughs> 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 did you say, uh, thoughts or thoughts? Repping the shirt. Both. Oh. Fair. Um, <clears throat> this is, uh, where Jason Domus comes in to, to, to bless y'all with content once again. As I <sighs> predicted, <laughs> rightfully so, as the champion I am, that uh, DDP would take this. And y'all put me on blast to the hot take because I'm saying DDP gets Izzy out of there. I can't fucking wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, what exactly is that you can't wait for? To see DDP beat Izzy. But you claim that you're an Izzy fan. I am an Izzy fan, but I also love parody. So you love we parody already, we more had than it. you actually love Izzy? I love both. Duality is real. I just don't believe y'all when y'all, specifically you, when the people start doing <laughs> I already got on this last week with the whole, I love this person. Y'all will never hear me come on here and say, y'all know how much I love Max and me talking about, yeah, but I want, I, you will never in life hear me say that about Allen Iverson, Drake, uh, or or Max, I will never say something crazy. Or your brother? Like that. I don't know, man. You about to get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, listen, I'll take it back. I like Izzy. I don't know if I love Izzy. That's a better statement. You like? Okay. It. And then it's like cause, cause sometimes I feel, and I'm ready for the hate. Like I'm Izzy's already like, ready. I'm ready to hate on you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, hi hater. Um, oh, yeah. Just like. Izzy kind of like, you know, as much as y'all give grief about like Kobe, I feel like Izzy plays a character sometimes, man. I'm going to keep it 1,000. That's absolutely insane, nigga. Hey, uh, especially you don't you fuck, you don't fuck with him because he's black, but you let these other motherfuckers slide with it? Oh, Tom. Right. You That's let Connor like, slide with it? Like, you let Kobe you slide with it? You cool with Strickland doing his slide. bullshit? Strickland. I don't, That's I don't, I don't, I don't think Strickland or... Connor is playing a character. I think that's who they really it's fucking are. Thousand percent playing a fucking character. We seen it on the on the fucking unedited version of the Tough Show. Strickland is playing a character. No, McGregor. Oh, you said them both. I don't think either of them are playing characters. No, Sean Strickland is just a dumbass, bro. That's not <laughs> that, that nigga's just dumb. Are, wait, wait, wait. Is he? I mean, uh, fucking Connor is playing a character. Let Kobe me ask is you definitely this. playing a character. Hundred percent, and I'm all in on it. Let so when Izzy this. does it, it's a problem? 
because I think he really tries uh, to sell. No, 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 no. no let me on. let me explain. May I may I retort? Sky. May I Get retort, your bro? Um, I feel like we all know that you know Kobe is playing a character. You know what I mean? It's not even a good character. But but before we tap in that, I got a quick question. I got to ask y'all. Was that the best in-ring confrontation we've ever seen? No. The most discussed. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Who was? In, well, well, who else? I think about um, I think about your boy DC with Brock Lesnar because DC thought that Brock was just gonna come inside there and like dap him up because they was boys and shit, and then Brock pushed him, and DC became came with little DC from the boot, Louisiana came out. And he, DC started getting crazy in there. He's like, hey, wait a minute. You don't fucking that's what I'm saying. Go back and watch DC. Yeah, when that's why I say. Bruh, that, it could have been a better moment if the pussy wasn't the pussy. Yerd. Because <laughs> I was I was wanting that nigga to say. I wanted nigga? him to say nigga so bad. So I wanted bad. him to say nigga so bad. That's so bad. I was like, I was like, just say it, bro. So like, bad. I'm, don't stop calling me nigga. <laughs> so, just so we can see the fucking fireworks. Be like, oh shit. Say shit, it. Say it. It would have been like a real like WWF WWE type moment. If he, hey, like this, just, like this. Like, What's up, my nigga? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But he just fucking kind of just like. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, oh, the pussy. Let me ask y'all something. Do wait, 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 wait. Think... Before you change it, for me, that no. was the best in ring confrontation I've ever seen. Nah, in, he didn't, in the UFC, it was, for me, it was fifty. It was fifty zero, bro. The pussy didn't give nothing back. He didn't give it, it was it all not... Izzy, but you hate Izzy. But it was all Izzy. Bro. I don't hate Izzy. Stop. <laughs> Stop on. putting away. I, I just said I don't hate Izzy. It for me, Izzy, that was just the best in ring confrontation I've ever seen. So you gotta give Izzy his motherfucking props because he just made history with that one for you. For I never you. said I, I never That's gave not give him props. Right, never. All right, all right. I digress. Let <laughs> me ask y'all something, right? Do y'all think that Izzy went too far? Because no. there are chatters on the internet. There are lots of sensitive lilies on the they internet sensitive. that are saying they sensitive. they're saying that you know Izzy went too far. He made it about race. He um, was saying racial slurs. And my whole thing is this. To right? who? <laughs> who did, like, who did it slur to? He called him a nigga. Like, he's not a nigga, so <laughs> where's the racial said, slur? Where's, my where's Dana White? Where's Dana White? <laughs> the, Can we talk about... That hey, niggas, that shit bro. is... Hey, Dana <laughs> is a wild boy. <laughs> Can we talk about Dana White? Because that might be... I mean, that's the greatest post-conference or conference thing since fucking the Dana White privilege. Um... Dana, what did you think about the uh, racial tension? And what racial? Someone tension? said, who, who, "Who's being racial? Who's being racial? <laughs> who's racial?" <laughs> well, well, sir, but the the N word was said. Um, okay, uh, who, who said it? He's black. He's black. <laughs> He's, black. <laughs> He's black. He said, "Nigga, please." I done heard "nigga" a hundred times, nigga. <laughs> Listen, Dana said that. <laughs> hey, he said, "Izzy, that's my nigga." <laughs> listen, listen. If you, listen, all the memes and reels already popping up from Dana White being like, "But he's black," like, and his face so nonchalant, like, "But he's black." Like, there is no racial. T- like, what? What are you talking about here? <laughs> the that are sensitive though are the people that can't say the word. That's really yep. what it is. That's, That's really, really who it is. is. Yeah, they're right? really, they're really pressed lying? about it. And and here's the main thing that I say. I'm like, so you guys are now all of a sudden upset at Izzy because he said the N word and he said cracker. Now, if y'all are the same people that listen to rap music, your opinion is null and void because in rap music they say cracker and they say nigga and pretty much every single sentence. Don't listen so, to Lil Wayne. So, so how come y'all Don't not offended by Wayne. that? Right. Y'all listen to that. Y'all not offended by that. But all of a sudden, a man gets inside a ring and says same uh, same octagon where people punch each other, kick each exactly. other, try to kill each other. In there, step on each other's only... nuts. Rocky. But in the Rocky. same breath, now we're getting into Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland, yes. a formal neo-Nazi. Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Self proclaimed. Go back to his area Hawaiian yep. interview where he talks about him being, being in prison a former neo Nazi. Yeah. Yep. When he talks about being racist, that he used to be racist. When he talks now, currently being sexist, talking bad about, about women, talking homophobic, all kind of shit. Yeah. He's Muslims, anything. He says 
racial shit all the time and y'all applaud this man 24 7 talking about he speaks the truth he speaks his mind what the fuck is the difference then i have somebody on instagram say that they don't want to watch drinkers versus uh izzy because izzy made it versus black and white but they'll watch um sean versus uh izzy and i'm like what do you think sean's gonna be up there talking about Mm -hmm. what do you i don't understand what I, i i actually i do understand what's happening but i don't know if y'all understand what's happening and why your viewpoints are the way that they are when one person does something another person does it i've already brought it up on this podcast stop race baiting man listen this is america it's all it's all good when they do it but it's a problem when we do it can i just say for a second i always look forward every week in the past of the pod for Sky's rant of the week. Like I just I look forward to it every week. Sky goes on a rant. It's fantastic. <laughs> I'm just saying I, 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 I just want to know the answers to this because it is it's crazy and it's wild. And at the end of the day, I posted a video of Drikus in his very first fight in October of 2020. At the end of his fight, Dan Hardy asked him, blah 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 about the fight. And he goes, he's gonna be the first real African champion. I want to be the first. Those are the words that come out of his mouth. And I posted the video where he says, can somebody show me where I said <laughs> that I would be I the real. receipts. Oh. Yeah. And I played it and I played it. And Izzy actually reposted it on his page, right? Mm-hmm. Instead, all Drinkis has to do now, right, is come out and just be like, hey, you know what? I said that. My bad. That's not what I meant. This is what I mean. But instead, you went on for the last year going on and on talking about you never said that and you never said real, but your coach has said real and all kind of shit. Like at the end of the day, Drinkus Duplicy will never get my respect. I, I will never respect him. Even if he beats Izzy, even if he's a long time reigning champion, I will never respect him because you started this shit and there's nothing worse in my opinion than somebody throwing stones and hiding, and hiding in your hands. Like Be a, a grown ass fucking man. You came out, you said what you said, you meant what you said, you knew what you were doing. And instead of just owning it, being full blown you, you want to sit around and act like a fucking pussy. That's why I call him the pussy. And you don't want to take responsibility and stand on what you stand on. At the end of the day, all three of these people are born in Africa. Francis, Kamaru, and, and Izzy. They're all born in Africa. You're born in Africa. All of y'all are Africans. Y'all are all real Africans. Training somewhere, living somewhere, doesn't make this a real versus not real thing, right? Mm. What would Yair look like being like, well, if I win the featherweight title, I'm going to be the real Mexican champion because Brandon Moreno trains out of Las Vegas. Tell him. He would never say nothing stupid like that. Same Hell. thing, Jamaicans show love to Leon, even though he lives in Britain. Right. right. You know what I mean? Like other cultures and countries support their fighters that have their heritage or are born there. Yet for some reason, Drikas and these South Africans keep going on and on about real and training and breathing African air. Suck your mothers. Like, shut up. Suck your mother. Boom, buck, no, but you were saying, you know what, Sky? You know what he could have did? Instead of causing separation, he could have been like, I want to be a part of what they have. I want to be uh, the next great African champion and bring my belt to South Africa alongside how Kamaro had his in Nigeria, how Izzy had his in Nigeria, how Francis has his in uh, Cameroon. I want to bring mine to South Africa and be a part of their lineage. You don't have to shit on somebody else to make yourself look good. Let Just me ask y'all. Because- yeah, sorry. Go keep going. I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Saying the word real, I'm the real African champion, that discredits those three brothers like a motherfucker, bro. It because does, you know yeah. what? And it the, antonym, it does. the antonym of real is fake. Facts. So Let what do you mean? This. Just because someone doesn't live there, breathe that air, whatever, in their soul and in their blood and in their heart, they still African, and you can never take that shit away from them. Is he no took the belt back them. over there, too, and was celebrating with them? I give a fuck if these niggas the go to the moon. They can go got to the moon. The they he still took- African, bro. At the <laughs> end of the day. They more African than me? I, I think... <laughs> facts, me too. I, I think... I don't know. I th- <laughs> I'm about to get torched again. Uh, before, before I do, though, I'm going to ask this. If, if DDP... Sorry... <clears throat> if DDP were to come out and said it verbatim what you said, hey, I can't wait to be the next great African champ, y'all don't think he would have been set on fire for that? 
no. because he's not shitting on nobody else. I, I he could have he could have said, "I want to be as great as Izzy. I want to be as great as Kamaru. I want to be as great as Francis. I will be the next South what African champ." Because it's true. To say. I I feel like if he had came out and just took the real off, say, "I'm going to be the next great African champ," he would have got torched. I don't think so. What's the I difference in what? Because he mean? if he would have been bigging them about? up to big himself up. You no, lead with love, not with bullshit. Because what because what I'm saying is, you know, we let's have a real conversation. When when we talk about Africans, right? Africa, Africans, you know, we're we're talking 99.9% about black people, as in skin tone. Mm -hmm. Is is that facts? That's so when he goes and separates us talking about I'm the real one and opposed to them being the fake three. That's the problem right that's there. The issue. Yeah. That's but, my only problem. It's not because he's white. He could be a Moroccan. But looking like Abdul. And I somewhat can... I somewhat get his argument, you know, of saying that I live here, I breathe here, I train here, I stay here. I did but, not hold on, just let me finish. I did not shake the spot. I didn't take the bag and run. You know what I mean? Those is that's those like, is caveats. That's like, Hold on, hold but on. But how does that make that's you like, real? Hold on. That's like that's like um a rapper, for example, right? From whatever hood you want to throw out, Lincoln Park, let's just say. Shout out to, you know, LP San Diego. Wow. Um, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they move out to Beverly Hills. They move out to La Jolla. You know what I mean? And still claiming Lincoln Park. People you in Lincoln win. Park. People in Lincoln no, Park. You still have rep a, your set no matter where you people, go. But yeah. people, but people who live in Salola in Bay Vista, supposed to someone living in La Jolla, right, is going to have. Y'all can say tell what you, you want right to say. Now. I could tell you this right now. I could move to any motherfucking state in this country, and I'm repping a town, San Diego, no matter what. I can go to Mexico. I'm. I, I, any place I go to, no matter what, I'm going to have San Diego on because that's in my blood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's, I, that's I hear what you're saying. Me. I hear what you're saying 100 percent. But at the same time, you know, at least for you. me, at least for me, you know, when someone you bangs you a hood. You, you, you want him to go over there and be like, I'm now La Jolla? That's the phoniest shit on this fucking planet. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not saying I'm now La Jolla, but it's still repping hard when it's like, yo, you don't even, you're not even here on this day to day grind and struggle. But, but let me I think that's the point that's that been way. made. Yeah, Haters. go on. Haters feel that way. Haters feel that way. Those are the people, and, those are the fucking crabs in the bucket who don't want to see yep. anybody go up and do and, better. And blow up. Those are the fuckers who are sitting there in Salola. And shout out to Dago. Like, I hope y'all ain't watching this. Because this is going to <laughs> Yeah, but because them the is not my side of town. There. Right, but that's 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 actually the truth that grew up on. But like, if you go, um, if those people are sitting there angry, like, oh, okay, perfect example, Nick Cannon. Everybody in from San Diego talks shit about Nick Cannon, and what do they say? Oh, Nick Cannon never did nothing for San Diego. He never came back from San. Diego. He never came back. His granny lived right around the fucking corner. He's right from San Diego. He ain't gotta do nothing for y'all. Y'all some grown ass fucking people. Work. What y'all want him to do? Then when he does come, he puts on charity events. He did shit. I remember he bought like M1 or something down there. Y'all was sitting out there trying to jump on him, trying to do crazy old hey, weird stuff. Hating you know on him. I mean? Hating on him. That's what I'm talking about. Like, at the end of the day, if I'm from here, I'm from here. It doesn't matter. I don't need approval from anybody, not even on this podcast, that to give Kamaru, Israel, uh, Francis, or Drikis, or Cameron Stamen, or Manil Kate, or anybody else, because there's other people from Africa on this that are on the UFC roster. But to come out and say that you're going to be the first real is mm, that's the issue. Is implying that they are not real when they are, in fact, in training somewhere does not make you real. He could have said, yeah. "I'm going to be the very best. I'm going to be the first South African. I'm going to be the next." And I'd have been like, okay, cool. But it's not it. just training. It's living. You can live wherever That's the fuck you want. Yeah, that don't yeah. matter. Brandon Moreno, the best, Brandon the Moreno, best not the gyms and is shit Brandon are Moreno not in a South Mexican? Africa. Is Brandon <laughs> a matter of fact, he trains in fucking Florida. Yes. He does half his 
training camp in Florida. So what is he even fucking talking about? Keep your punk ass in South Africa then. Don't that's come saying, and train man. in Florida. But There's... why are you in Florida? But that's cool, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> if BJ Penn didn't do all his training in Hawaii. In Hawaii, is he still a Hawaiian? Is Max the only Hawaiian uh, fighter? Uh, uh, Born whatever. champ. No. Born champ? No, let's stop being stupid. Brandon Moreno trains in Las Vegas. Now he trains in Dallas. Is he not the Mexican champ? Come on. We like it's just it's just this nasty ass South African type of narrative and attitude. And those are the only people that's common and reckless on the internet. And and we know why. We know why. Y'all go watch a movie called District Nine. If y'all don't know what that is, it might be about aliens, but it's the real deal, Johannesburg. <laughs> if you don't want to know about something. <laughs> and that's another thing too bro because i could like i said if i move somewhere else i can go somewhere else bro san diego is just in my blood and it will never leave i'll go to new mexico i'm saying i'm from san diego bro i'll go to timbuktu hey i'm from san diego i don't give a fuck where on this planet i am i'm san diego that's it next <laughs> Next up, the boy Brandon Moreno versus Alexandre Pantoja. Uh, Damn. I know uh, y'all, 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 uh, yeah. How y'all felt about the fight? I had a bad feeling about that one. Remember, I was in the air with that shit, bro. I was like, I don't know what's going to happen because we already saw what was going to happen or what happened in the past. And... Damn. I saw, I... I saw a meme the other day of him all three fights oh yeah i seen that i seen that meme too <laughs> i was like fuck man uh, have y'all suck. rewatched this fight I haven't yes re-watched i it have yet. yes i have i watched it we watched it today girl the fight don't yeah. tell me brandon moreno is winning don't tell me brandon moreno <laughs> won this right fight now, don't tell me brandon fight. moreno back, won this go fight. back and watch the did third you re- round you, you 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 rewatched oh, it damien i didn't have to rewatch this one i did yes, not have do. to rewatch this one you you kind of do you kind of do it's 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 one of those things we're gonna have to fight about that control shit man <laughs> we have to fight about that control shit we're gonna have to fight about that and it's not night, a it's I, not a thing about just control because me and my girl we were just talking about Volk and Yair in the first round. Volk had control, but he was beating him up in the control. Yair couldn't reverse out of that shit. Uh, Pantoja had control, didn't did nothing was going on, and then Brandon reverses. To me personally, like you guys can argue all the time, whatever. If there's control and there's reverse control with no damage, and then there's a reversal, that should be like nullified. Uh, Pops, well, I, I got a quick, quick question about that. So if I hold you down and let's say, you know, shout out to fucking Francis Ngannou against Cyril Gan, where you landed like 14 punches, right? But if no, I he landed three, three, sorry, I know, I know it wasn't very many, <laughs> but if I lay on top of you for, let's just say four minutes and again, don't really do anything, you know what I mean? Just hold you down and then you get up. Is that a wash? Yeah, because you threw no punches. There's no way that that's a wash. There's no way. No, it, it's I so think you are it's not I think you should should be trying to do damage. And that Volkanovski loss. So, so that's, that's the, the point that's that the you can argue fault, is though. why your fight that you go tooth and nail for, why they lost. So here's my thing, and this is my piece, and I'll let you You're y'all right, go. because then in the in that Volk fight, Islam just dominated then. So so here's my piece, and I'll I'll let y'all rip it the shreds if you'd like you know shout out to to gsp all the time because gsp you know would not do a lot of damage but if i go out there and i big brother your ass and just hold you down shout out to my little cousin jakari if i just (laughs) hold you (laughs) if i just hold you down and you just cannot move for five minutes i didn't hit you one time but i just held you in a place you did not want to be held I won the round. It's not even a question. Um, that Go ahead, is Sky, according to the old rules prior to 2017. GSP was fighting during that time. Now the rules are different. You need damage in order for it to matter. In order, for, That's just what the rules say. Now, I don't know what else to tell you about that, but the rules say if you go and you hold somebody down, that's the same reason why uh, if you guys go back to Bellator, 
um, Stocks versus what's what's the stupid goofy dude? Oh, name? the the blonde hair boy. What are you talking uh, about Sabatello? Stocks Sabatelli. versus Sabatello. Earlier this year. Shit. Yes, where he just held and held, and guess what? The fucker lost the fucking fight. You want to know why? Because he had zero <laughs> damage. That is the way that that That's is supposed to be scored. I don't think so. Because you know what? At that point, if nothing is happening, the fucking ref is supposed to step in and, and say, hey, hey, you need to do something. You need to show me something. You need to do something or I'm going to stand it up. And if they don't do that, that's not that's not the fighter's fucking fault. They're doing their shit, bro. They're not taking any damage. They're in a controlling position. Like, you you guys have done jujitsu. Like, you understand position over submission. You want to hold that position as long as possible because you can't get caught in anything. You can't take any damage. You're in a you're in a strong position. So obviously but we have it, to like, we have to be active though. So in you have to be in, active. in the case with, with Brandon's fight, but the right? Ref gotta st- but the ref got to stand them up if they're not being active. No, they're, they they're in the Brandon's fight they were active. So in the third round, Pantoja did have his back, right? They're hand fighting. So they're both they're both being active, right? But there's nothing that's threatening to to Brandon. They're hand fighting, they're hand fighting, they're hand fighting. Brandon reverses it, so there's no credit or no nothing for a reversal, right? Cool. So don't even make that a fuck. Don't don't make that a stat. Don't don't show us that. He gets up in the third round and he's firing Fucks on him. him boom, up. boom, in the in in the guard, he's firing Fucking on him. him boom, up. boom, boom, boom. They don't give him that round. Prior to up. that take, no, no, no. Prior to Stay that take, round three. Stay no, on no, round I'm be, three. I'm, yeah, we still on round three, but like earlier in that round, Brandon is winning the exchanges. Him up. Tell me, tell me, I'm wrong. Somebody. No, you're not. Oh, you already know how many times I don't watch that round. I gotta, I gotta rewatch it because. Yeah. At the end of the day, what I saw is what I saw. <laughs> and, and, and you to have go to back, go back and go back and rewatch it, and then like I know we take. I, I was drinking. We, you know, <laughs> you was, you was, because you messaged me, <laughs> and my nigga was like, like I'm drunk right now. <laughs> um, is this, you know, it's, it's it's like one of those control things versus damage things, and I'm watching the fight again, and I'm like. And I'm I'm watching it unbiased. I'm like, all right, Pantoja had a moment, a little bit on the feet right here, but Brandon was tagging his ass up, pause, beating him up, and then he would get into a position, and then he'll reverse the position. So uh, you know, I'm upset. Um, it happened. I'm not gonna fight. I don't want to, you know, argue about it and shit like that. I'm I'm a, I'm upset about it, but I'm not gonna say a robbery. I had two, three, and two, three, and four. Even the fifth round was close. He was getting beat up, and he just. Body triangle them standing up in the fifth round until a minute twenty five. Exactly Prior to that minute twenty, because I was writing down the fucking timestamps when I was rewatching yeah. this stuff. Minute twenty five, he goes for uh, Prantoja goes for a takedown, gets it. Uh, Brandon gets back up, and from I think like a minute, no, fifty five seconds, he rides the back of the back. He rides the mm-hmm. back out. Um, and for me, all I want is for the um, the judges and the different commissions to just come out and actually like educate us fans, educate the fighters, mm-hmm. tell us exactly what it is. If we can get consistency, if yeah, holding somebody for, for four minutes, holding somebody for two minutes is, is all you need to win a fight, I'm okay with that. As long as we know that every single time this happens in a fight, that's how it's going to be. That's what you're going to get. Kind of like what yep. Damien said earlier, when certain things happen in certain fights, one judge does it this way. It, it's like iffy about how stuff gets stored. If we can just it, how stuff gets judged, if we can just keep it consistent, then it is what it is. I I, I can't be upset about it. But what what I will say is, <laughs> um, Brandon Moreno yeah. fought that fight with uh fought four rounds with a broken. He broke his hand in the first round and was still beating the dog shit out of Moreno. I mean, it was his Fantasia, it was his right hand too. Up. It was his right. Yeah. Um, you can't. So Jay, you watch the fight again, Jays. And you didn't. And you, see you don't. You don't see he was beating him up on the feet. No. <laughs> oh my God. Jace, who got uh, dropped? Uh, who, wait, wait. Is, who got in dropped? In the first round. No, 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 that's not what I asked. That's not what I asked. Yet. What I asked was who got dropped. You said what beat his mean? ass. Who got are dropped? We gonna, are we gonna go back and talk about who, how many times dropped? Volk? How many no, times no, 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 no. Islam dropped Volk? Let's stay focused. So Max, Max dropped Volk. Let's stay focused on this fight. Hold on. Hold on. Max dropped Volk twice. Did he beat his ass? Who stay focused? Let's stay focused on this fight. Did (laughs) Max drop him? This is is the same thing. 
We I asked see. you beat his ass. You saying one little small part? That wasn't one little what? small part. In the first round, he bounced the right round. the fuck back up. That it was the first round. Said- Everybody knows Pantoja won that round. We're not even talking about that. I, it was the first I, round, so, so you clearly didn't so go back and watch the fight. I did. So just he because, dropped him in the world. Wait round. a second. Just the first, round. the first round. Just because my uh, opinion <laughs> differs from y'all two, don't mean that I'm wrong. But like Damien said, I watch, I watch what I watch. I watch what. Here's the thing, and and I kind of talked about this with Sky for a second. Is the simple fact that I know on this pod we go really hard in on judges a lot of the times, and I'm gonna stop doing that because obviously here we have a 50 50 split and we both watched the same fight. Now, when I watched it live, I gave it 4 1 to Pantoja. I went back, rewatched it. I said, you know what? I'm gonna give it 3 2 to Pantoja. Overall, again, very close fight. If Moreno would have got it, I wouldn't have lost my fucking mind. You know what I mean? I feel, though, Pantoja and all his control time. Now, again, we can go back and forth about what he did and did not do with it. But the simple fact is that he did it and continuously did it. So and I'm not... Feel it, like it, we it, have to, to... Okay, you're talking about control time. So then... When things get reversed, there's no like credit for that at all. There should be. And then no. there's damage I, I thrown you. after the reversals. There was but, three reversals. So so for me, I hear what you're saying, right? A hundred percent. But for me, also in that variable is I'm not throwing out two and a half minutes of control time. Again, I'm not saying that he was just fucking Vulcan the shit out of him. You know what I mean? He didn't do it, right? But I'm not throwing away two and a half m- minutes, which is half a round of control time, because someone got up. That, I'm when, not doing it. I'm not. I'm not a fan he, of it. When did and, he have and, two and a half and, minutes in one I'm round? Just, I'm saying in general. I'm making a statement. Mm-hmm. I mean, you put up all the control time in the fight. I mean, holy shit. And so unlike, the control time, and, was, and, and, the control time difference was uh, no. It was a uh, two different minutes. Two, it was yeah, four minutes, minutes for for uh, Pantoja. Sixteen. Four and some change, and it was two. And some change for uh, Moreno. And Here's unlike me. Damien, I don't think the ref should ever stand stand guys up. If I can big brother you and just hold you down for 15 minutes straight, well, goddamn, it's a mixed martial arts fight. I think you need to it is. work on your, your takedown defense. And Brandon got up. Yeah, after being taken down and, and held. Go on, Damien. Here's the... <laughs> Here's the resolution to all of this shit. AI judges, follow all, fire all the judges. Have AI judge the shit. But It'll that's not consistent. The, but that's still, but, but that's still an issue because me and you, we watch this fight and said Pantoja won, and we but feel I'm strongly saying, about that. And then right. Sky and CJ, they are very adamant that Moreno. You know, like when that judge gave four rounds to Brandon, I'm sitting there going, "What the fuck? What did you watch? How is that possible?" I but think when we look that, at the lines, they, the, the blue lines versus the red lines, the blue lines is winning. I think for when that, that judge did, I don't know because I'm not in his head, they gave him that fifth. There's there's time, time stamps in fights for like a reason, right? So yeah. the first half of that round, that was all Brandon in the striking. Then you go into, he gets the control. And he just has the body lock for what Sky said, a minute and 20 of that, with nothing else going on to it. So I don't know. Like, you know, I was like, I'm upset. It's like, I don't need to argue or whatever about it. But it's just like, at the end of the day, oh my God, I just remembered fucking Brandon's elbows in the pocket. He was, he was fucking Pantoja up. He was fucking him up. Like, I literally just watched this motherfucker today. I was like, damn. And I DC, yeah, and you know, yeah, go watch it again, bro. DC is super biased on grappling and shit because I couldn't hear him in the um in the crowd. Mm. I don't know, man. Fucking Pantoja got outstruck for what three rounds? Four. Got his he got it uh four rounds. I'm sorry, yeah, four rounds. He got reversed on his takedowns. Brandon got the two takedowns. I don't know, close ass fight. Here's the only thing that 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 I have to say is that <laughs> I just want, the only thing I want from this whole situation is for Jace to apply the same logic to all the other fights 
like Peter Yam versus Aljamain Sterling and Islam versus Volkanovsky. If he applies even, every single even thing Valentina he in 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 Talia, Valentina and Talia. Um, if you apply that same logic that you just said about control time and to uh, Sanhagen versus what's your boy's TJ. name, PJ, you apply that same thing, then those if you apply what you just said to that, then those people lost, even though you went the other way with it. No, because I'm gonna need y'all to be time. more consistent <laughs> when you're not in your feelings about being homers. I'm not you're a homer, ain't a homer though. I, you I'm are a Max homer. Holloway homer. I'm a Max Holloway homer. That's the only. I'm fucking nut riding. I don't care what y'all say about it. We know this, but, but but there's more that than that. All right, yeah, let's okay. move on. We gotta wrap with this that up. Being said, oh yeah, <laughs> Damien got Damien gotta go pee. <laughs> I got, I, nah, I, 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 I got some steak that. in the back. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm like, Damien gotta go pee. Real quick, you guys, <laughs> I am now announcing that I'm no longer an Alexander Volkanovsky hater. That is right. I'm hopping off the Damn. hater train. Never thought you'd see the day. I think maybe even last week I said I'm always going to hate be a hater. Probably. Hot take. But, Hot but I, take. But I changed my mind. I was listening to an interview of his. I was listening to his post uh, conference. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, there's really nothing for He's me to hate anymore. <laughs> He's a yeah. stand-up guy. You know, I didn't he like the props. attitude that he took. The reason why I really started hating him was after the Max Holloway second fight, him acting like, uh, like oh, yeah, all for sure and all that bullshit. That's where I really started hating him because he was like, you didn't win that fight, but it is what it is. It, it's over with now. Um, but after this, I was like, you know what? I like him. And and, and I want to put them paws on Ilya because Ilya been popping shit. Ilya been talking shit. And I think Volkanovsky's going to TKO him. Hey, shout out to my boy Jace. But my man ain't never wrong. He said Volk was going to put it on me. What'd he do? No, I'm just playing. I said that. I said that. He, Jace agreed. Baby girl, <laughs> put it on me. <laughs> no, but, hey, Volkanovski is a fucking beast. I, he really is, and so I like. I, he got my props, bro. Like he do, he do need to go open weight, please. He's number one bullying. pound for pound. You bullying niggas now? That ain't cool. Let me get we, this easy yeah, bag. You about to get you about to get canceled, bro. You bullying niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. At the end, when he picked Yair up, like he could have finished him with the hands, decided to pick him up, slam him, and finish him like that. When he did that, I said, This dude just sunned him. He just sunned <laughs> that man. Like you didn't have to, but he did it just to be dominant, just to be nasty. And you know, that's what I wanted him to do against TKZ. I wanted him to be nasty instead of being like, Hey, man, you're okay. You don't want to fight? No, I want you to go inside there. Like like a professional fighter and get it done. Um, so I, you know I had to respect it. Was I rooting for Yair? Absolutely. I wanted yep. Yair to win a hundred percent. Um, but then my boy Max came out with a video and was like, "Hey, Volkanovski thinks that I want him to lose. I want him to win because I want to get it off him." Um, so at the end of the day, Volkanovski did what he was supposed to do. He looked good. Yeah. yeah. That motherfucker's good, man. And he could fight basically any style, any way, you know. He's real good. I was like you, Scott. Like, I'm not, I wasn't a hater. Like I always say, he was fighting people I like more than him. But I really, really, really like him. I was rooting for y Yair a lot more. I wanted the upset, you know, anything can happen. But Volk is, he's great, man. And shout out to him for being a short king, man, out here beating everybody up like that. He's a fucking pit bull. <laughs> he's a fucking, literally a blue nosed pit bull. He's a fucking dog, man. I like his, his style. I know where we got, we are running over time here, so real fast. Is he the pound for pound number one? Yes. Right now, yeah, with that performance, I think so. Mm. I'll give it to him because he's just way more active. Like John, been gone for three years, got one fight, and then he's up at one. That's crazy. Like both been putting in the work. Wait, what was the question again, Jace? Is is Alexander, the number one pound for pound. Yes, yes. Right there. now, yeah. So we all Not agree with. Time. We all agree. That's uh, yeah. maybe a first he time on the it, pod. He does it that the right way, man. He's, and, he's and, a beast. And, beast. And, and, he, he's talented and, in every aspect of MMA. He's a true yep. mixed martial artist. That's the type of guy that you want to replicate, right? When you're in the gym sparring, you're in the gym doing shit, that's the nigga that you need to be watching and, and replicate. And I think CJ touched on a 
a good point actually, which is the man fights every three to four months as well. Yeah. You know, he, he fights three, sometimes, you know, he, always three times a year, sometimes four times a year. You know, he, he almost That's always has a fight announced, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which, yeah. which we just, you know, so many divisions can be in same, in same for Izzy, you know, shout out to Izzy as well. Izzy fights, Izzy continue. And other people like, you know, fucking John Jones once every two years. Uh, Jamal Hill still hasn't defended the strap. He's almost had it, you know, for That's fucking. That's not his fault. I, I'm, not, I'm, year. I'm not, I'm yeah. not blaming anybody. I'm just saying. Yeah, but people the were facts. pulling out of fights. Could be pulling out of fights. You know I'm just I mean? saying you the facts of being active. You know what I mean? Like Valentina, when she was champ, she was fighting every few months. You know, Amanda was, you know, Leon Edwards, you know, he, he still, you know, we still don't have a, a date locked down. You know what I'm saying? Islam or, or just the 155, you know, because it's been held down by the Dagestanis. They fight twice a year. You yeah. know what I mean? So shout out to Vogue. You know, he is definitely, for me, the pound for pound number one. Um, I, I love He's the dope. guy. Yeah. You know, yeah, you're bro. He's won me over. I've said this. He's like a parasite. He just kept going at me, and then I'm like, you know what? He's You're pretty not chill, bad, man. little guy. He's pretty chill. <laughs> and I, feel like, I will buy your merch. Yeah. I feel like I no, feel I'm like not gonna because, buy because I feel like because I'm no longer a hater, <laughs> mind you, I'm not. I'll never be a fan, but because I'm no longer a hater, um, and I want him to beat Ilya, I feel like. <laughs> Like that's the one that he finally gonna lose. I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be like, uh, you gonna let this now? I, but I do. I, I like Ilya. Um, wait, 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 wait. I, Sky. Why do you want him to beat Ilya? Because Ilya been popping that shit. Said he was gonna finish him in the first, and I just don't see it. Like I said, I don't. I, Ilya, in my opinion, doesn't present anything to Volkanovski that Volkanovski hasn't fought before. Uh, Yair did. He had something different that was like, oh, okay, this. But like you just being a boxer with good grappling, I don't see that stopping Volkanovski at all. You having power, he's. I just don't see any. I don't see him presenting anything that's gonna stop Volkanovski. Um. Hmm. But you know, we'll see. One quick little thing before I let y'all go: uh, Mike Tyson versus Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Ganu, like, and Ganu, and Ganu, and Ganu went versus back to the nineties. <laughs> uh, Tyson Fury versus Ngannou is for October 29th. Quick predictions: Who y'all got? Tyson. What? What? Uh, how many rounds they fighting? Like eight, eight, uh, eight rounds. Oh, it's going to be this. boxing, not exhibition. So yes, they can knock, knock each other out. They haven't announced whether or not it's going to be for the strap yet. Uh, you know, because he is the champion. Um, it's Saudi it money well though. Be. It's Saudi Arabian Oof. money though. They, like, I, I don't see. I don't see Tyson Fury making less than a hundred mil. Uh, your <laughs> oh boy Francis. God. Your boy Francis might pull in any. Might pull in. You know. 30, 40, at least 50, 50. 60. at least 50. Uh, yeah. So who knows? I can't wait for the numbers to come out. Um, Francis is on his King Petty shit. He named his promotion gimmick promotions. Uh, as Dana White <laughs> said, he does not make gimmick fights. So your boy, uh, Francis is being petty. What are you talking here. about? Zucking whatever his name. Yeah. Is it petty or is he just a clapback? Uh, I, petty clapback. I don't see it as being a bad thing. I don't see being petty being bad. Sometimes motherfuckers need to be reminded. <laughs> um, so for me, the fight will largely, uh, again, I know we're running over time, largely be depending on are they using boxing gloves or MMA gloves? As me and Scott was talking about, are they, is, is it announced? Yeah. Are they using boxing? Okay. I think they, then, yeah. Then, 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 then Fury's going to fucking mop them up. You know, Easy. if it was MMA gloves, shit. Take my money. Chance. Take my Francis, money, MMA you gloves. Can't take this nigga down and lay on him, bro. You can't do it. It's not allowed. <laughs> now, if it was MMA gloves, I, I'd put my money in on Francis and Tyson, MMA gloves. But Tyson is a fucking like phenomenon, right? And like a heavyweight Best. boxer, like it's fucking weird because this nigga is so heavy in the body, but really lean and lanky in the arms and legs. Like it, it don't make sense. This is this nigga fighting Eggman from. Uh, Sonic, <laughs> the Hedgehog, perfect. You know what I mean? Perfect for real, and though. It's for like, real and, though. Well, he lighting niggas up, right? That he's the yeah. boss. <laughs> he's the guy that you try to beat to fucking win, and you can't do it because he's just he's the boss, man. So, good luck, Francis. I don't see it happening, but hey, get your bag. Real quick, get your bag, um, King. we're gonna leave after this. Does this help whether he wins or not? Does this help 
Francis legacy? Because he said that that's what he's doing this for is his legacy. Does it, in your opinion, does this help his legacy? A hundred percent. I think uh, so. I feel like it depends on how the fight goes. Then they get starched in the first round within like two minutes. Probably not. For me, no. Uh, this has nothing to do with legacy. This is all about getting the bag. And ain't nothing wrong with somebody getting the bag because you getting you getting a big, 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 big bag. But don't ever come out and talk about a fucking legacy because legacy is fight as a fighter. Legacy is about fighting the best. And you're after you fight Tyson and you get mopped the fuck up. Even if you win, great if you win, right? But if you don't and you just get the bag and you go back to PFL and you fighting fucking Maurice Green, that ain't no legacy shit. This is legacy. He's fighting the greatest boxer, the greatest heavyweight boxer in the world currently. That's legacy. So Mayweather is a part of Conor McGregor's legacy. One hundred percent. I would say that. Part of it. I would say that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't agree. I think we got a different idea of what legacy is. But with that being said, we will be back next week because we're not even going to talk about next week's uh, ends card. I, we're probably not going to talk about the next mm-mm. week unless it's a banger card. Nah, whatever. So we'll come back and we'll pick Super up Lake on fights this on Friday. Super Lake fights on Friday. Watch him on yes. one. <laughs> Make sure you watch your one championship. We will be back. Um, yeah. Next we week. We went through a lot tonight. Yeah. We'll be out there. <laughs>